Hello guys and welcome once more to Aurora. So, um, I wasn't actually planning on recording some Aurora today, but due to the fact that combat mission didn't record properly. Bloody Bandicam, I swear to god, I come back with so many times we can- Ah, I'll not uh, screw up this time and it screws up, like what the- Ah. Anyway, I thought it worked fine. I thought it worked fine, I had it set to record screens and it didn't work, so yeah, that's the explanation for if you saw those uh, combat mission game uh, videos, which I've had to delete, so I'll have to go back and re-record that, which is going to be a pain in the ass, because that's an hour of my time wasted. Anyway, moving on to Aurora. Right. So, did we construct? Yes, we have a new one over here then, so we should, um, right, so this will be our third... Ah, we'll call this the, I don't know, let's call it Terraformer, just so I know which one it is. Terraformer 3. There we go, Terraformer 3, just make it easy on myself. We've got Alpha Centauri. Right, we've got the other one coming in over here. How are we actually going on Alpha Centauri in terms of the actual, uh... Right, so we've got 20 auto mines, that's pretty good. <clears throat> Right, so that's not too bad then. I think if we get uh, the second one here, and if needs be, I might bring the third one over here, and we start really pumping that gas out of the atmosphere, we could really get that going. Hmm. Right, we have a decent amount of labs. I'm hoping that we'll have a few more, which reminds me I need to unpause this so it actually carries on. Okay, so we'll let some time go by. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, sorry. <clears throat> God damn. I was thinking today that uh, we finish the Broadsword project, uh, which is what I'm going to call my fighters, and um, look at the FACs or fac att well, fast attack raft. I need um, cloak and technology. If I can get some cloak and technology and maybe some shields, I was reading on Reddit and the forums that basically. Uh, for cloak and ships, you can have the cloak and field, obviously. You have to have, like, low thermal output engines, which obviously makes you hard to detect. As well, shields actually do kinda hide thermals, if I understood that one correctly. Which would be really, really incredible. And, um, another layer of complexity. Alright, then. Ah, uh, new officers, a new exceptional officer. It's not too bad, but uh, let's go back over to Sol, actually. I want to start constructing a few more ships, I think. Wrong thing. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> ah. Right, so we're building two of the light missile cruisers. Ah. Right, so that name will go for, like, city names or... Country names, perhaps? Ah. Uh. Hmm. We'll see. Craig's Marine. Royal Australian, Royal Navy, Russian battleships. Scotland, that's interesting. <laughs> ah. Select from themes, let's see. Um, we'll call this one the... The Guiana, Guiana, maybe the Liechtenstein. Uh, we'll call this one the Macedonia, or the Macedonia. Right, I'm gonna start building. Whoa, not an actor. I hate how that's there. It's really irritating. Ah, that's okay. So I could actually build a command class at the shipyard as well. Well, I already have two command classes. I only have the one beam class. I'm gonna build another one here then. Twenty eighty three. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. That's, uh, it's a mighty long, uh, build time there, isn't it? Galactic Empire. Oh, what am I looking for? Oh, I've lost it now. Nations of Earth, there we go. Okay. The Macedonia, or Macedonia. So I'll start building that one. Right, that's gonna take a bloody long time. We really need to stockpile these engines. I mean, we have some of these older engines, but yeah, we need to really stockpile them. Um, we're gonna need more 
missiles. I mean, we have 619 Ferris's left, but yeah, we use most of that on just like one ship. So it's a good thing that we're building some more. Right, what do we actually research and then let's just refresh ourselves. So we have the two stage thermonuclear warhead, that's okay. That'll be done in 28 to 2. Internal confinement, fusion drive, 28 to 2. 281. Well, that's good then. At least we'll have that in this year. Not long at all, actually, till we have that. Uh, let's go back and check on the terraforming rate and see what we're working on now. I think it's like one down. Oh, we've got uh, number five over here. Fantastic. Yes, yeah, so we're looking at 0.26 at the moment. Uh, once we get that Esh research, we should be able to keep that up to uh, something in the 30s, something like that area. I'd love it if it was double that. If it was double that, it'd be amazing. But my luck is nowhere near that good. <laughs> yeah, I've been really thinking about uh, what I want to do for a another Aurora series. I do absolutely love the idea of either doing like some kind of like um, forlorn, it's just random. I don't know, a historical nonsense coming up with some backstory for either a um, Soviet colonized world with some Soviet style government or I don't know maybe the Nazis escaped in 1945 and set up a new world. I, I like that idea just for the fact of the bloody puns. He would have so many. Uh, don't worry, he'll be alright. <laughs> uh, the punnage. Right then, so we'll put some, uh, put another lab into this famous nuclear. Yeah, there's not much return with Thomas Holt. I really want better scientists. Right, do we have the second one? Right, that's Sol Sec. I'm looking at Sol, aren't I? That's quite a large movement, goddamn. Alpha Centauri. Oh no, you're still moving, Jesus Christ. What's your fuel right now? I don't want you running out of the- oh no, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. So it takes roughly like five, six, seven months or more or something like that to actually get a terraforming orbital over here. That's a long time. A long time indeed. Hmm. Um, judging from the distance it moves in a month, we might be here rather soon. So at least that's okay then. Well, I just want to get there before the new um, terraforming research kicks in and then we can at least see what we're getting with two of them and then maybe decide if we want to bring a third one. If I bring in the third one, we'd have like almost 1.5 million tons. Well, we'd have over 1.5 million tons, probably like 1.7 million tons of like terraforming orbitals. Uh, so I think I actually will bring the third one. We might as bloody well. Right, you can go into that task group. Yeah, there you go, you're numbered. It would make sense, just for the fact, um, if we can get these uh, worlds terraformed and Earth-like as soon as possible, as quickly as absolutely possible. What am I doing here? Uh, Sol, right, yes. Okay, back to Sol, back to Earth, tractor. I'm not seeing a uh, ship, am I? Oh. Hmm. Terraformer free. Track to that ship. There we go. Okay, so we can check on our uh, progress now and see how that's uh, ramped it up. Yeah, 0.46 per year. That's really good. That's going to be really quick. I could probably do a build in even larger, more, I don't know, probably like multi use orbitals like this, but this is pretty good. We should start seeing this go down pretty rapidly. Uh, we're looking at. Uh, that research is not Earth. There we go. Okay, so we're looking at um, October 2081 for the new terraforming. Oh. Right, the 22nd. Okay, so we'll see it by the end of the month then. So at the moment, we're getting 0 0.046 atmospheres per year. So if we get that new research, which we'll see at the end of the month, we'll have to see how much that ramps it up. I really hope it does. I want it really quickly. ASAP, baby. I just want to make this world colonizable. 
And, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's really colonizable right now. It's, it's very, very good world. It's just I want them to be perfect. I don't want to bother with infrastructure. If I can get this going straight away, um, I do have a construction brigade. I think I'd have to bring... Uh, probably have to bring in some materials to start off some industry or something like that. But what we'll probably do is we'll start uh, bringing auto miners into the different worlds. I think I had another Brunei Mark III build, didn't I? Yeah, the Jura, the Jura, that's it. Ah, right on time, actually. Right, so you'd been to Eris, I do believe. Togo's already almost back, fantastic. Yes. Alright, we do have the older Brunei over here, so I think I might send that one back into, uh... Back into port, and then what we'll probably do is just try and retrofit it to the new generation of Bruneis if we can. It would probably take a long ass time. Right, where's the Jura? The Jura's completed orders. Ujura! Where are thou? Okay. Um, you're definitely in the soul system. So I want you to start doing the same. So what we need to do then is we need to go back to the Alpha Centauri system and uh, we'll take a quick look at you and we'll see how we're getting on with the new atmospherics. Oh yeah, 0 0.575 per year. That's, that's nice. Really ramping it up. Uh, once we get the other one here, then, yeah. I mean, we have 23 in orbit. That's nice. I'll have to build a much larger one and just try and get as many terraformers on as reasonably possible once we have, like, more of a mineral abundance. And then what we could do then is basically come to world and really ramp up their terraforming rates. Just get them ready. So what do we have on the world? We have some... Um, known to villain construction. Interesting. Okay. I think it's because we don't have any infrastructure on this world at the moment. So if we take a look at the summary. Yeah, so we need at least 200 infrastructure per million. So, um, without that, nobody's going to come over and move here. So I think once we remove uh, the infrastructure limit needed then we should be able to get this going pretty well. I mean, we do have some mining going already, so that's pretty nice. I mean, 385 per annum, that's not bad. Uh, so, Corundium, Corvamite, and Tritanium, those are the things that we're missing. What do we have on the moon orbit in the actual terrestrial world that we're looking at right now? Right, Alpha Centauri A, so A3, Moon 1. So we have Geranium, Corbomite, and Boronide. Well, here... Oh, we have Boronide. We don't have the Corbomite, so at least that's one of the materials uh, made up for by the Moon. But that fucking... That... So much Geranium. So goddamn much. That's a lot of Uridium as well. Ah, damn. Venderite. Do we not have Ven... Oh, no, we do have Venderite. Okay. Even Sorium on the world. So many things, just absolutely insane. So I think what we might do then is on Earth. Um, we'll, we'll cancel this project and then. Hmm. I think I'm going to start building some more automated mines. Oh, then again, I could build some refineries. We'd start carrying some refineries over to the world, and then at least we can use that as a refueling point, which is actually a really good idea. I might take a... well, I think I'm going to take a hundred fuel refineries there. I mean, we have... How much uh, do we have actually on the world in terms of sorium deposits? I think we have it definitely in the millions. Yeah, 45 million compared to Earth's 4.5 thousand tons. That's a bloody massive... Massive, colossal difference there. Right then, so that, uh, well, now that we have those spare loves, let's see. So that's 40,000. Bloody hell. Hmm. I think we'll take a look at the um, defensive, the cloaking theory then. So we'll have to go through the cloaking theory before we get to any stage of progression on that tree then. Which is fair enough. Right, 12% of normal. Bloody hell. I think we're at about 16% of normal. 
so that's uh, interesting. And I will add the research labs in here, so we have two left. What should we do with these two? Uh, improve damage control. Laminate composite armor, laminate composite armor. Uh, shield recharge rate is pretty easy. At least then we can use this as a research project to train up some of our scientists then. I, um, I think I'm going to build some more... Type name, add task, Kadir. Hmm. Right. How did I do it when I could, um... Dictate how many numbers I wanted? I legitimately can't remember how I did it, but I did it somehow. God damn it. Oh, well. Uh, we'll have the two transports sent back to Earth, and then at least once a uh, new... Construction Brigade has been finished. Oh. Right, and then back to Earth. I'll have you refuel and resupply. Then load ground units. Uh, another constru uh, construction brigade. And a mobile infantry brigade as well. I have to load them individually. There we go. Then once you've done that, head to the lyrical jump point. Back to Alpha Centauri. And uh, drop the new troops off here. Unload all. Oops. Unload all. That's a long list of orders, but they should be able to carry that one out fairly easily. Okay, so let's issue some orders to the Jura then. I think what we might do then is have the... Um, of a Brunei, the uh, transit, carry mining facilities here. Are we building a third Brunei Mafri? I really need to get a lot of these babies going. Right. Brunei Mafri. We need another one. Are we? No, we're not building one. I need one. I absolutely bloody need them. We need to ramp this up. Andromeda. Uh, seven pillars. Still a wrath. Mongol. Mexico, Manticore. Uh, nice Templar, that sounds quite cool. Um, the Antioch. I like the name of the Antioch, that's quite a nice name. Yep, Brunei Marfri. Boom, uh, build up, please. Okay, I'm gonna have you, um, it's... Um, actually no, I think I might have you build an extra slipway, and then in the future, at least we'll have um, a 21,000 ton shipyard, which uh, we're not going to be exceeding 20,000 tons for some time yet. At least then we'd be able to have more ships on the go. Looking forward to getting these refineries onto Alpha Centauri. Uh, Alpha Centauri. I need to come up with a name for it, but I won't name it until we have people on the world. I mean, goddamn. That's what we need. We need people. I think I might call it Harvest. Ah, I can't decide. Hmm. I mean, I like the name Harvest, but I like the name New Carthage. I might go with New Carthage, actually. I think it's got a nice ring to it. Harvest is a little bit, like, low-key. Yeah, I think I'll go with New Harvest. Uh, sorry, New Carthage. Red Togo's completed orders. Um, okay. Togo. Good, you got him. Okay, we'll bring you... Up Centauri. So with three of these babies, we should be able to get this going. But I think what I might do is perhaps... Send this one to the moon orbiting. And then at least we could start work on that one. I don't know, let's take a look. It's all my minerals, which is easy. Right, what does the moon need? I think it just needs the sulfur dioxide removed. I think that's literally about it. I don't think that'd take too long at all, actually. So I think what we'll do when the third terraformer arrives is probably have it do that... Or at least start working on that. We'll see how long it takes. I mean, the moon is... Only there. So it's... It's a very small orbit. Very small. Right. I mean, this is going down pretty quickly now. 
I mean, uh, 0 0.0575. Bloody good. Bloody hell, I forgot to issue orders to the juror. Ah, uh, we'll do it next month. Um... At least then, if we have, uh, Materials coming in uh, with the mines. I mean, I could uh, start bringing in the. Yeah. Um, maybe the refineries. I mean, I'd like to send the refineries first to get the fuel established, and then at least we could refuel over there. But I kind of want to send over the construction factories as well, but ah, we'll see. Hmm. Yeah, I can't tell it. I hate when it does this. There we go. Ah, okay. Proxima is unable to carry out its orders. I'm yeah, so we're gonna have to redirect that one. Uh, well, we'll take a look at the system and see what's going on over there. Construction of the size one first AMMs has been completed on Earth. Great. Great. Okay. Wrong screen. I wish I could have, in, like, an indication. I mean, I could try and work this one out and, like, see how long it's going to actually take us to actually get this bitch down to 20%. Uh, does it need to be... Uh, I suppose it probably needs to be about 20% to actually bring it in line. Hmm. Now, I wonder if removing gases is faster than adding gases. I'm interested to see what the differences between those are. Uh, then again, they could be at the same rate. It's the first time I've really done this, so it's a learning experience. Now 2082, just 2082 and then 2083 with this guy. Right, at least we're building quite a few of these refineries and we'll be able to use them on Earth. To a degree. We had something like a stock of about 100,000 sorry match, something like that region, which is a good amount of sorium. At least we're building those refineries on Earth, we'll go through that stockpile and at least build up a decent reservoir of fuel back up on Earth. I imagine Alpha Centauri A3 will probably become the new fuel hub, for the foreseeable future at least. Unless we find some kind of gas giant with incredible amounts. You've moved fairly quickly. I mean, there's lots of asteroids over here as well, so there's lots of opportunities for civilian mining. So there's lots of opportunities for just making profit. Right, we'll go and check over at the Proxima. Uh, what's the Berlin doing? You're going to, uh, Geological Survey. Is there anything over there? Oh, actually, what we can do then is take a look at the actual system, wrong thing. Uh, so we'll take a look at the system and see what minerals we've actually discovered, if any new ones. Right, Struve, uh, 2398, 3 is still the best thing. Ah, uh, not a bunch of sorium. Cassium's okay. That's not bad. It's not much, but it's not bad. It's a decent amount of sorium. That's a decent amount of geranium. Yeah, vend right, quite helpful. That's a lot better. 34 million, yeah, that's a lot better. Okay. Uh, what we'll have to do then is in the future... Well, actually, no, what we'll need to do is design a new uh, Estonia. So I think that's what we'll do right now, actually. Estonia. I think I called it the India, didn't I? Yeah. So let's uh, design a new one then. So, copy design... Well, actually, no. Uh, rename, I guess. Um, auto rename. It's irritating that it doesn't do that. Ah, bloody hell. India copy. It's like name. Um. Hmm. The basilisk. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Go with the basilisk. So it's classed as an orbital. Oh, for fuck's sake. I hate how it does that. Right. Sorium harvested while it knows what it's going to be. That's good. Okay, so let's um, add a few of these engines. 
and only one type of engine allowed. Ah, oh, right, we've uh, copied the design, haven't we? So, look, we were using, like, 120 engine power engines then. How things have changed. How things have changed indeed. Right. We need massive, massive fuel reserves. Absolutely colossal. Okay, this is really strange with these. Let's uh, bring it down to a nice round number. I probably just deleted the bridge. I did indeed delete the bridge. Oh, God damn it. 120. We need to be out a long time, so we're not always having to bring it back. I'm going to put quite a few engineering spaces on this as well, just so we don't have to worry about any problems in the foreseeable future. Um, I'll have about 20 and then I'll remove one of them. Then at least if there's any issues, they'll have quite a bit on board to repair it. 435 could be bloody hell. So we so far have a storage of about 10 million litres of fuel. Bridge need for a ship over 10,000 tonnes. Well, over 1,000 tonnes, I realise. Okay. So we could add... Ah. It's actually not that heavy. Okay. Sorium Harvester. Yeah, that really changes things up. But we'd gain a large harvest. I think 20 is okay. 20 is okay. We don't want to be increasing um, way too much, really. Uh, let's make sure we have it designated as a tanker. I want it to be very fuel efficient. Bloody hell. That brings us up to 104,000 tons. If I try and bring this down to about 100,000 tons, I think that could be quite good. It's almost there, actually. Yes, yeah, so we'll try and uh, balance this out, then. It would be rather quick. I mean, the uh, less it has to travel... Well, well, the faster it travels, the less fuel days it spends burning, so that's great for us. Right, then. So we'll add some more fuel storage on, then, to make up the weight. Damn, that's annoying. Uh... There we go, 100,000 tons. 100,000 tons producing 96,000 litres of fuel per annum. Oh, 960,000 litres of fuel per annum. Obviously, once we have the amount of research, we'll be able to produce more. 11,150,000 litres of fuel. 26,000, well, 2,600 speed. That's not bad. 640 crew members. I could add a little bit of armour. Nah. 13 engines. So it could go for 2,021 days of burn at full power. I mean, even dislodging 90% of the fuel on board, we should be good. Right, so we'll have this designated as the Basilisk. And we'll start work on the Basilisk then. Probably aim to have a Basilisk in each of the systems with some Sorium, and then at least we can set up fuel depot, uh, well, depots all around. So we'll build another Brunei. This should be capable. No, Yucky to the press value. God damn it. Retool for the Basilisk. SHB Basilisk. Right, 2082, 12th of December 2082. Well, that's not bad. We're in, uh, well, it's December 2081 now, so we're looking at about a year for that. We'll retool over there then. That's good. Uh, should I build another Isaac Newton class? They would be quite handy for future exploration, as they do have some armor, they're pretty damn quick. Um, I think we'll build another one then, so uh, we'll go for another scientist name. Oops, shit, I already did that one. Uh, cancel that for the time being then. Uh, rename ship, okay, select name. Um, shotgun. Goddamn. Nihon, Japanese. Carnate of Orion? Cool. Ooh, it is getting close to the end of the episode, guys. So you know what to do. If you enjoyed this so far, you can always go ahead and uh, subscribe for more. And uh, do go ahead and let me know in the comments what you think of the episode so far and what you would like to see. And uh, I shall see you in about 15 seconds once I decided a name. 
I'm trying to find scientists, but I can't seem to find it. Hmm, shame. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again in the future. So have a great day, and good